Hello and welcome, this is Ruth and I've got the luggage tag box die set to share with you today again from Tonic Studios and this one has 45 different dies in it I've already taken it out to have a little look at it here but at the top here it tells you that the uh, little box will measure 5.7 inches by 1.2 inches by 2.75 inches and that is 145 millimeters by 30 millimeters by 70 millimeters and here we have it now this has recently been on Create and Craft and is now available directly from Tonic's website so that's why I'm giving you a little tutorial on it and I've actually never made this before so this will be my first attempt and hopefully it's going to turn out really nice. Now this is the full die set here and of course there are lots of different dies that you can use for different things as well. Uh, these tags can most certainly be used for gift tags on cards or even on presents themselves uh, for you and open me and then uh, happy birthday and with love there and then we've got this little one that says love here as well and then different things that you can put inside here if you don't actually want the wording on it and then this could be made into a tag itself here just by making a little hole on it but certainly there are different features here that you could add onto corners and cards this one could be a little pocket on a memory book and this could be a anything you want there's loads and loads of different things that you could use there and I like the look of this but if you open this up you'll find all the instructions inside and the first thing I notice being a newbie to this set is that there are two different ways of creating this so we've got a scalloped edge lidded luxury tag box and then a door entry luggage tag box so that's uh, two different ways one looks like it's got a little slider like a little belly band type of thing around it uh, opening uh, as a slider I think and then this one opens up and down so with, again with a little belly band around it but I'm going to go ahead and get some nice card out some lovely colours and I'll be right back and we'll have a little look at this so just at this point I'd love to thank everybody who has already subscribed to my channel I never really thought when I started that that I'd end up with over 5,000 subscribers so thank you so so much to everybody and if you haven't already subscribed I'd really love you to do that too and that way you'll be able to see loads and loads of videos as they come up. I've always plenty in the pipeline and plenty about to be published and if you enjoy this kind of thing maybe you could hit the notification bell and that way you'll be kept up to date with all of that and if you do enjoy it at the end don't forget to give me a big thumbs up that always helps and if you have time to leave a little uh, comment as well. Thank you very very much. I've picked out some blushing pink and some um, coral luster, <laughs> I keep forgetting the names, blushing pink and coral luster satin effect card and then some rose platinum uh, high gloss card and I'm just hiding that in there to keep the reflection away but those are really beautiful and then I'm going to add a little bit of white in, them, in among that just to break it up a bit. So first of all I have cut out the lid in the blushing pink card and I have folded all those little score lines over, burnished everything and that's all ready to stick together. So I'm just going to glue these little glue tabs and hold all that together. And before I do that I'll just go ahead with this one as well. So this is the base and this one is the uh, Coral Luster card. I really really love that colour. And I've done exactly the same thing there and I've burnished all these score lines and I'm going to glue this together on here so by all these little glue tabs it's actually really really easy so I'll just go ahead and glue that. This was the piece then that I used for the lid and you can see directly inside that you've got a tag shape with a little lined detail on it there. It's really really beautiful and then some other ones inside that. So normally I would do this flat but because it's not too detailed there and not too uh, sort of dimensional you can do this afterwards as well so just glue them on after you've done that. And I have cut this corner piece out here 
and I'm just going to decorate that first. So I've taken that one and I have cut it out here and then I have taken the next one in, which is this one, and I've cut that out in the mirror card. That's going on there and then I have used this one along with this one here with the little hearts in. I've used those both together and that has given me this little shape. So I'm going to glue that on top of there and that looks really lovely with that mirror shining through land that on top of there before I go ahead with this one. Now on the instructions it tells you to glue this panel. You're going to glue this one onto the back of this here and then glue the whole thing and put it on there and then the next tag which is built up of these two layers then will slip in and out of that one but you could actually just go ahead and glue that on there and then pop that inside and um, the whole thing then could be one large tag so you can do that whichever way around you like it but I'll follow the instructions this time but you can just be aware that you can actually do it the other way as well so this goes on here that goes in there like so turn face down and then once the glue has grabbed on that you'll be able to put glue all over here and attach that on there and that gives you a little pocket but it also helps you probably centralize that a bit better because it's already attached and then you have this little pocket that you can put the other little tag into You can see on the die sheet here then that I have used this one as I said for the background there and then we've got this tag, there's that all nicely glued on and I have used then the next two dies together so this one and this one together in white to create this shape and then this one I was going to put into the centre but um, I didn't want to cut it through the white I really wanted to have a different colour on top there so what I've done is I have cut this die through some of the mirror card and then I've used a little circle die that I already had in my stash to cut around the outside of it because as you can see there that doesn't have a cutting edge on it it's, it's really just going to cut that shape into the center of what you've already got so I used a little die along with it and I'm going to pop that in there then I have used this little die over here along with some of the satin card and that has given me the little tag for the top here and that fits perfectly onto there so all you need to do is glue that panel there onto here like that and it fits just beautifully on there and whenever you've got that on then you can go ahead with the other two tag dies that you've got and they are I actually was just using them there so I haven't put them back in yet we've got this one I've cut that one out in the mirror card and then I have cut this one out in white and layered them both up together. So I can then go ahead and put those two tails in through here and tie a little knot on that. And there we are. Now we've got a little belly band to go around that. You can leave that like that but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So I have used uh, this long die here from the set and you can see this beautiful die as well that, that actually cuts little holes in the side of that so I've cut one of those out plain and then on the other one I've cut the little holes out through as well with this little die so I used it on both sides there just popped it in and then I've threaded some of this lovely ribbon right through here through in and out through those little holes and across the back and now I'm going to join these together so you'll put the ribbon one on top of the plain one And once the glue has dried on that then you can go ahead and pop that straight over here and tie a little bow at the front. I just popped a little bit of glue in behind that to hold that in place there and then I've taken this die and I've cut that out in the mirror card and I've used the bigger heart that came out of here 
and glue that on top and then now I'm just going to glue that onto the little bow there. You don't necessarily have to do that but I thought it would be just a nice little finishing touch in there. And there we are. First little box completed. The second little box then in that set is actually just the same basic shape as this except it opens differently. So I have gone ahead with the same die that I made the base and I've cut that out twice and I have uh, before I glued this one all together then I popped this little die up in here on the front side of it and just you can see there where I placed that and when the, the die cut was flat I ran it through the die cutting machine and then I glued all these pieces together. So this is the base piece and because the base and the, the second piece that goes over the top of it are both cut with the same die you'll have to remember to make the bottom one really really tight at the corners and then whenever you're going to put the second one together leave it just slightly uh, wider at the each um, glue tab just so that that fits nicely over the top of the bottom one. So on this one then you can see that I have gone ahead and I have put that same little die into the top to get this hexagonal shape. I'll turn it over here, I've already decorated it but I've set this one on here, I've die cut that and then I have taken this one which is called the door die and I've placed that on in here and run that through the die cutting machine as well and that gives me then this shape. Then I've taken the little decorative dies that are inside these panels here and I have cut these out here and glued them on ready to go. So now I can go ahead and decorate in here. I'll glue this up first of all and then I've got some little panels but the panel that I have for this one, you can put it on now or actually wait until later. I've cut the background colour, the pink in this die and then I've taken this one which isn't a verso die at all it actually has its own outside cutting edge and I've glued that on top and that actually goes on here so you could go ahead and glue that now and you want that just to be properly aligned whenever you turn the box over and you'll see your little I said it this way you could see it better maybe this little piece will just be sitting like this now on the instructions it's showing you just to put one there which is fine absolutely fine and it would depend on what you're having inside the box whether you want to go ahead and put a second one I've cut a second one because I can see it does fit here you just don't want to obstruct this area because there's a little piece to go on that afterwards but you can go ahead if you glue these really tightly and uh, pop them in so I'll glue the tabs first and then I'll add those on I've taken this little die and I've cut out the little tab to put on here so I'm just going to show you the mistake I made first of all if you're using patterned paper it sort of comes automatically to put it like this with everything facing upwards but obviously the tab is going to go that way I can use that for something else it won't go to waste but the tab should have gone this way the die on the paper here and then it, it will actually sit the right way around then now I've taken this one and I've cut it out in some of the pink card and that's just going to get glued in there as well. So now I'm going to attach the two boxes together. So this is the one with the sides all glued in tightly and this one obviously then has got a little bit more room and that's going to fit on the top. So what I want to do is make sure I've got plenty of adhesive all around here and then slide one over the other and hold those together so that all of the sides stick really really well. Now 
to finish this little part here I've taken this die and I've cut it out in white and then I'm folding it all in on itself so that the finished side of the paper of, or the card is all on the inside and I'll glue this together by this little tab. I've already burnished all those little score lines and it makes a kind of a little tube Now I'm just going to pop that right in through there until it comes out the other side. And when it gets there, you can put glue on all of these tabs here and here, and then you'll be able to fold those back. Now I've added a little piece of ribbon onto this and I've made the little belly band in the same way as I made the one for this little box but I took this little die this time which says with love and I glued that right on top there and that means that I've actually got the letters if you have a little look at that you'll see that the letters come out of that as well so I've got those letters that I can use in something else and you know we all love to do that. So there we are that's my second little box there's the first one and they are just so pretty, aren't they? So let's just have a quick look. That comes off there and opens up here. And that's really, really beautiful in there. And then this one slides off here. And you've got the little tag on the front here. And the little lid comes off this way. I've loved it. I think there's loads of different things you could do with that. You could customise that with uh, patterned paper and you could add all sorts of different things onto the front there and it would just be really, really beautiful. In fact, you don't even need to have these, but they are really pretty. You could put that one on there or you could put that one on there. Either way, they look really, really lovely. I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly have. And I'd love you to come back again and see more videos very, very soon. So don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, to do that. And hit the notification bell. You can share the video if you like. But don't forget, if you do enjoy it, to give me a big thumbs up and leave a little comment down below. And my affiliate links to this die set and to anything else that I've used will be in the description of the video down below. So I do get a little commission from that, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. And I really appreciate everybody who uses those. So thank you very, very much. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.